Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to make some new candles out of the leftover wax which I have saved from previous candles. So let's get started. So things I have taken to make the candles are any old pan, leftover wax from the previous candles, shells or the containers to make the candles, cotton thread to make the wick for the candle like this and you can use any oil I have taken olive oil here so these are the things I have taken and let's start turn on the gas put the wax in the pan and heat it for a few minutes it will only take like five minutes not more than that to melt the wax perfectly and change it to liquid form so after two or three minutes it's almost in the liquid form just a little bit more heat needed so now I'm turning off the gas so let's get the shells ready to put the wax in this plastic container I'm using it to make the removable candle like the one you can see down here so I'm putting some olive oil in this container and using my finger to put the oil all across inside this container so the candle can be pulled out easily and the wax won't stick to the container so here it's ready so now it's time to make the candle wicks ready I have taken some wick holders here but because the holes in the wick holders are very narrow and the thread cotton thread I have taken is bit thick so I'm using a very thin thread attached to the needle to make the thick thread pass through these wick holders so once the thread is already out through the wick holders just cut the thread according to the length leave a little bit of thread outside the container and place all of these wicks in the containers so now let's put the melted wax in this first container so once the container is filled with wax I'm using this bag sealing clip to hold the wick on center position so putting the wax in rest of containers so this is the biggest candle shell I have I'm putting two wicks in this candle shell because one wick is not enough for this otherwise when I'm burning the candle only the wax from the nearby position of the wick is going to melt and the other candle is staying as it is the wicks are all positioned up and now I'm using some vanilla essence to add some fragrance to this candle I'm just doing an experiment so not sure whether it's making any difference or not so putting some vanilla essence and then some wax again some vanilla essence and again some wax so let's hope for the best all the containers are filled with wax and I still have some wax left in my pan so I have taken another plastic container and put some olive oil inside putting another double wick in this one so this is the candle number five so these are our final candles after putting the wax in all the containers the color comes out very nice
so wait is over guys our candles are finally ready the wax is all dried up I'm just cutting the extra length of thread from the top just removing the ties and cutting the thread look how good they are looking so beautiful the wax was white and red color before but after melting it's all mixed up and our candles comes out in pink color which is very nice this candle needs some more time to dry up because it's not coming out the wax is still not fully dry now let's check this removable candle again I'm just pressing the corners and it's coming out by itself see all the oil comes at the bottom and this is our final candle here is our final product all the candles are finally ready so this is our video for today guys hope you like it and learn something new you can also try this at your home and give your kids a chance to learn something new if you like please don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye take care